Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to Linux by the way, where we review Linux everything. I'm Steve, Principal Engineer, and we're going to be covering Linux, programming, AI, ML, desktops, laptops, building computers, all that stuff. But today I have a very special treat, which is the System76 Lemire Pro. I had this shipped to me the other day and it was also dark when I got it, so I haven't been able to film this video yet, which meant I didn't want to open the box or mess with it or anything. And so I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to open this and check it out. Uh, super excited. This is Lemire Pro 14, the 2024 model. Uh, a lot of big changes this year from the screen to the chassis uh, to the processor. So let's go ahead and unbox it and check it out. All right, so this is the 2024 Lemire Pro by System76. Uh, this channel is not sponsored. I just like their products. I like their company. And we're going to go ahead and check out what's inside here. So it looks like we got a box holding up the laptop. And here is the laptop. It's already, I can tell it's very light, very lightweight feeling. Got protective covers. All right. Well, that looks pretty sharp. So you can see here, a lot of people online were talking about the arrow keys. So as you can see here, the arrow keys are in slightly different position than you're used to. So if you have a lot of muscle memory around there, that could be an issue. Um, in my case, I use a lot of Vim motions. So I use the home row and the HJKL and all that. Um, but if you have a lot of uh, arrow key heavy activities, then you might want to think about that. In terms of ports, you can see we have a headphone jack, USB traditional, not USB-C there, uh, micro SD, and then a locking port. And you can see how thin and light this laptop is. It's uh, easy to hold with one hand and very thin. And you can see here we have a USB-C with charging port. We have an HDMI. We have a USB 3. And we also have a Thunderbolt port slash USB 4 here. We have a nice little welcome envelope here from System76. Open that up. You can see here we have a thank you card, which is saying thank you for purchasing it and how to reach them, uh, what their mission is, so that's pretty cool. We have a punch out robot that can stand up on your desk and uh, it's pretty cool. So you just punch this out and you fold it up and it will just stand in your desk there, so that's neat. And then we also have a microfiber cleaning cloth. This is great because if you buy this from Apple, it costs like $100, allegedly. The power brick that comes with it does have a USB type C, so that's great because then we can sort of exchange this out or run off a battery or whatever without often trying to find a proprietary charger. The brick itself isn't too big, it's 65 watts, providing plenty of power to the laptop. It does come with an extension cable here, a uh, couple feet here. First impressions outside the box, it's very thin, light. I like the System76 logo. Um, I'm not sure how durable it is yet. We'll have to follow up and see if that peels off easy or not. Um, but as you can see here, it you know, will fit in any backpack or anything. It's very you know, one-handable, uh, no problem there. Uh, we get the System76 logo on the back. And yeah, it looks like a good travel laptop. Let's go ahead and start this up. So we've just booted up the laptop, and so you can see that I actually got this nice System76 screen there. Uh, all updates have been applied, so it's sort of ready to go. Uh, there's BIOS and boot options there, and then it's going to take us to our encryption password. So I've set this up to be an encrypted disk. Um, maybe you don't. You probably always should, though, in case you ever want to upgrade or sell the SSD, just so you don't have you know, any sort of passwords or financial information on there. And so you can see here the initial login screen. Boom, goes right into Pop! OS and it's good to go. And so in the past, some of the laptops had a 16 by nine display, but this year it actually has a 16 by 10 display. So it's 1920 by 1200, and that gives us more vertical space on the display. Um, you can see here it's 60 Hertz and the brightness is really good. So this is a very bright room and I can see the display just fine. Uh, very easy to read. The colors look good. Uh, the blue is very, very vibrant and the purples and all that and so very satisfied with the display on this one. Um, also it does fold all the way back if you don't have a power adapter behind it. So it does go all the way down for people who like that. Um, I really don't do that but nice to know it has that. Um, you can see here I can do the one finger lift 
on this, but uh, you know, it's not like when I'm hitting these keys and stuff, uh, what we don't see is the screen is not wobbling. So that's definitely good. Um, you know, it's not like going all over the place, very nice and stable. The laptop itself is super light. It's 2.2 pounds, and so it's lighter than most Chromebooks and the X1 Carbon, the XPS 13, and the MacBook Air. Uh, so that's really cool. If we take a look at the system specs, uh, System76 lets you configure this. So on this particular model, I went with the 56 gigs of RAM. Uh, the RAM in here has eight gigs soldered, and then the rest is a DIMM. So that means that if you're looking for dual channel memory performance, the first eight gigs will be dual channel, and then the rest will be the single channel. Um, it is DDR5, so high performance, and this has the Intel Core Ultra 7 i55U, and let's go ahead and check that out real quick. So I went ahead and I downloaded Chrome, and we're gonna go ahead and run through the Speedometer 2.0 benchmark. Uh, there is a 3.0 one out now that everybody is doing, but uh, it's easier for me to compare processor speeds with 2.0 because that's been out for a long time. Uh, this processor has a mix of performance and efficiency in low power cores. So this is the Ultra 7 155U. It goes up to 4.8 gigahertz. And as you can see here, we got a score of 304. So that's very, very good, very respectable. Um, it wasn't even just a year or so ago that uh, desktops were getting that number. So you will see sometimes higher numbers on this one with the Apple MacBook series and the M series processors. And that's because they have a custom processor extension for JavaScript, uh, which makes this one look super fast. Um, but this is a fantastic score and uh, in real world performance, that's gonna really hold up. And this is totally unplugged now. And so you can see tiny bit of performance drop, but not much, that's really great. So this is just full on battery power. As you can see here, I got nothing plugged in or anything, just laptop running a battery. Uh, that's a great result for a laptop. I really like that. Also, you'll notice that while I ran those tests, the fans weren't blasting. Uh, so for any sort of light load, this laptop is basically gonna be absolutely silent. So I can't, I'm gonna pause for a second. I can't hear any noise coming out of it at the moment. So that's really nice fan curve management. Uh, it's not blasting us or anything. Uh, should be great in an office environment. Um, if you do press it, I've heard it go on, but for normal office type load, uh, that's, that's really nice. You can see here too, as I pick up the laptop, move it around, uh, it is a matte display that's glare resistant. And so there's a lot of lights in here and whatnot that can sort of shine off that. Uh, but this is gonna be a great laptop for if you have to use it in a bright environment or if you're worried about reflections or anything like that, uh, the screen is gonna be really good to see no matter what the condition is. All right, so I'm out here in the sunlight now. Um, there's I'd say it's about a medium amount of sun at the moment, and you can still see the screen. Um, obviously, it's never great to have to look at a laptop or phone screen in the bright sunlight, but it does work, and the matte display does, it is serviceable, uh, depending on, you know, how you adjusted your angle to uh, make sure that the light doesn't just destroy the image. The keyboard itself is really nice to type on, and it looks like System76 actually had a keyboard configurator uh, that we can use for this. So let's go ahead and check this out. Well, awesome. So I went to System76 website and that took me to the pop store. And then I was able to go ahead and install the actual System76 keyboard configurator. For some reason, the configurator made the fans go just installing and everything. So I don't know if you can hear that in the background or not, uh, but this is my keyboard. And so we got right shift, up, down, left, right with the weird layout. Uh, but it looks like it's all reprogrammable. So you can go ahead and click a button here and you know, if I want to change that shift around, I could go ahead and do that. So that's a really nice addition here. And then it also has LEDs. So I can take the LEDs and I can tweak that brightness as needed. Uh, 255 levels of brightness. Yeah, that's great. That's great. And so we have the keyboard and then we also have layer two support here. So layer two is just when we hit the function key. Um, sometimes I use that for uh, various macros or tweaks. This is super cool. So one of the things you might wanna do is, is most people don't really use the caps lock key. Uh, so we can go ahead and go down here, move that to escape, and that is just automatically written to the firmware. So now we can go over to Vim 
and I can say after insert test or whatever, hit escape. Now we're out of insert mode. And so I can go shift WQ, boom, we exited Vim successfully. So internet memes complete. That's a really nice feature and I love seeing System76 extend the support out, not just to their launch keyboards, but to the laptops themselves. All right, it's pretty dark in here. I only have one overhead light. I don't have any of the normal camera lights on, but the Lumiere Pro has a full HD 2.0 megapixel camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and record on the laptop and record on the camera, and we'll see how that turns out also as you're watching this video right now. Also, the Lumiere Pro has upgraded speakers this year. And so if you can hear the sound here, I'll let this play. That sounded pretty good right now. I don't know if you can hear that in the camera, but uh, these speakers are some of the better speakers I've heard on a laptop, actually. So I actually have a bit of a brand new setup here, and this is my future streaming rig. And so I'm gonna be doing all sorts of coding stuff and Linux stuff and uh, getting a stream going. But what we wanna see is, does the HDMI port work out of the box or not? So we're gonna go ahead and just plug this into the Lumiere Pro. You can see I still got it right here. No smoke and mirrors or anything. Uh, here we go. Screen just blanked off and boom, we have it. Let's see. Uh, yep, I can move over there. I can just plug and play. Let's go ahead and move a window over just to prove I'm not doing any optical illusions or anything. All right, that is awesome. So we have both displays, just works, out of the box. No, no trickery or anything. Uh, way to go System76 on that. So what's the overall conclusion here? If you're in the market for a Linux laptop, you really can't go wrong with the System76. They've been in business for years. Uh, they make their own operating system, Pop! OS. They have a factory here in the United States where they make things like keyboards and Thelio desktops. And they also have a lot of uh, open designs and open source software that you can check out. And they don't sponsor me in any way. I just think they're a good company and they make good things. Uh, they have fantastic support. You can reach a human. That's a big deal. Uh, but for a thin and light laptop with this, you can kind of just take it on the go anywhere. It has a headphone jack, has a great display, 16 by 10. Uh, the keyboard is really nice to type on. The trackpad is really good. Um, you know, it's not quite MacBook quality, but definitely it's like you get used to it in a second and away you go. Um, in terms of the battery life, I haven't ran it down from 14 hours to zero yet but it's not one of those batteries where you have to stare at the indicator and every second you're going down by 1% and 1% and oh, I opened a tab, now I lost another 1%. Uh, the battery lasts all day for me, which is really great. The actual store is great, so we have the Pop! OS store where I can install things like Slack and Steam and everything else, and it just sort of works. Uh, it's already tested with the operating system, so really liking that. All in all, the laptop has worked great. I didn't have any dead pixels. I didn't have any configuration issues. Uh, it just sort of works, and I look forward to using this day in, day out. And so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.